Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well and uh, yeah, I am really honored and grateful and very happy to have so many lovely people subscribe to this channel. It feels like a big internet fam, like I like to call it, but because there has been a lot of new people subscribing, subscribing to this channel, why is it so difficult to say, oh ha? I've been getting a lot of the same questions from a a lot of different people so I thought it would be just easier if I answer these questions in one video so you all get the answer you're looking for and I don't have to reply to every single comment and message that have these questions in them because it takes time and also it takes time <laughs> today I'll be answering questions that you have asked me often the first question is something that I get asked by you and also people in real life is Brownie your last name? It isn't. <laughs> Brownie isn't my last name. I mean, I wish it was because it's really cute. It's not Vilma, a space in between Brownie. It's Vilma Brownie. It's just, it's just a fun name. But why is it Vilma Brownie? Do you like to bake? Um, I do like to bake. I like brownies. I don't actually even love brownies. Vilma Brownie is just a, a fun social media handle I came up with in 2011 when I was making my Twitter account. The rest is history. This next question makes my heart really soft and warm. Some of you have been asking, do I have a PO box? Or can you send me something? If you have something you would like to send me, like where can you send that? That is so freaking sweet of you. Unfortunately, I don't have a PO box. And honestly, you don't have to send me anything. I am just so happy to have you here watching these videos and having a chat with me in the comments. Please just remember that I'm, I'm never gonna ask you to get me anything. Don't stress about it. Honestly, your love comes through the comments and the likes. The next question is something fairly new. So recently more of you have asked, hey, I saw a girl who looks exactly like you at this place. Do you work there? Or do you work in this place? I have decided not to answer those messages at all. I don't want my work to be be somewhere where people come and see me because I have a thing that I need to do there. My, my, I have to do my job and it's not where I work on the YouTube things and the social media things. It's the place where I work at my job, where I get paid. And I hope that you respect that. I won't tell you where exactly I work at. It's really against my safety because you never know who is online. Most of you are absolutely lovely, but I can never know who watches these videos and it can be very unsafe for me. If you see me, of course come and say hi, but remember I'm at work, so it's different and I need to be there then. Whew, that was so serious, let's move on. <laughs> I seriously think the next two questions are the ones that I get asked the most, like absolutely the most like these are the questions I get all the time so let's just answer them here the first one is why do I make videos in English even though I'm not someone whose first language is English so yeah Finnish is my first language and a lot of people wonder why I make my videos in English I understand why people might be really confused why I'm just not making videos in Finnish but for me, English is something, it, it's a language that is really, really close to my heart and is it has been since pretty much I would say 2011 when I started following Taylor Swift more. And that's when my English just skyrocketed to somewhere there. And I really started learning this language in a way that I could really speak it well, even just a couple of years later. I just learned the language through videos, interviews, song lyrics and I started watching more people who make videos in, in English. It started to sound more natural to me when I filmed myself and I can't really use English here. English. Why am I saying like that? English. And the thing is for, for a long time the only place where I used this language was in English class and when I was traveling. I got really bored of that. Then I decided to make a YouTube channel and I decided then that I want to make videos in English because I want people to learn this language like I learned it. I learned it not from books. Books helped me, but the way I actually learned it was listening to people speak it. I love English. I love the language so much, you know, like I just, I'm obsessed with it. I love making videos in, it, in this language. I love speaking it. So this is pretty much the only 
time when I'm speaking English when I'm here. And also, I just, I can't speak Finnish in front of a camera. Like, watch videos from Susanna's channel where I'm in. I'm so awkward. <laughs> Very often when I'm asked why I speak English in my videos, I get asked, well, can you make videos in Finnish? Or can you make a video in Finnish? My answer is no. I, I don't, I don't want to do that right now. I love Finnish. It's a very fun language. It's also hell, but it's it's my first language and it has a very special place in my heart. But my channel is in English. I don't know, maybe in the future I change my mind, but right now, no. Because also one of the reasons why I make my videos in English is because I have a lot of friends who don't speak Finnish. I've heard from a lot of my friends, even the ones who I don't see very often, that it's so nice to just kind of keep in touch with me and like hear how I'm doing. So um, they couldn't follow my life if they want to follow it, if these videos were in Finnish. So for now, no. But there's a lot of other amazing Finnish YouTubers. I've, I, I'll link my favorites down below if you want to watch videos in Finnish. The last question that I get asked quite often that again, it makes my heart really warm and mushy and soft and happy is when will you audition again? Mm. <laughs> if you're new here and you don't know what that really means, I want to be a Disney character and parade performer and I go to the auditions. But yeah, a lot of you ask when my next auditions will be and right now when I'm sitting here, my next audition will be in November 2019, pretty much every two months they are doing auditions in London, so I always kind of aim to go to those. So November, January, March, it's not always like that, but very often. I am auditioning as soon as I can, as soon as just possible. Right now it seems like it's gonna be November. Fingers crossed. And I'm hoping they'd be looking for friends for Anna, because I, I think I could be a good friend for Anna. I don't know. <laughs> but before my next audition, I am actually gonna go to Disneyland Paris and when you're watching this video, my friend's trip is actually ending. So this week, when you're watching this, I was in Disneyland Paris from Monday to Thursday. The, the Disney vlogs will start probably on Tuesday when you're watching this. Just two days and maybe there'll be a vlog. I'm going with my friend Lore and my birthday is on Wednesday. So when you're watching this video, this is actually a 19-year-old Vilma, but I'm actually 20 then. Oof. All right, I think that's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed this. It was a bit different, maybe a bit boring, but I felt like, I feel like, <laughs> but I felt like I needed to make this video. These questions I get asked a lot. And if you haven't subscribed, I hope you do now, because like I said, there will be a lot of Disney content in the next two weeks, and of course in the future. And I hope I get to see you in the Disney vlogs. <laughs> I love you all. Bye!